A number of Atlanta police officers who feel abandoned by their city and its leaders were calling in sick overnight, and the mayor of Atlanta is urging them to honor their commitment. How many officers we're talking about is a matter of debate, but people who I've known for years are telling me stories of officers refusing to come to work, refusing to take calls. The police department this morning is describing this as a higher than usual number of sick officers. Streets in Atlanta that were on fire after the shooting happened were filled with people celebrating overnight. Protesters got what they wanted from the Fulton County District Attorney. The former officer accused of shooting and killing Rayshard Brooks will be charged with murder. The first charge is felony murder. 27-year-old Garrett Rolfe is facing 11 charges in all after shooting Brooks, who was his same age, in the back. If he's convicted, he could pay for it with his life. The other officer, Devin Brosnan, is charged with aggravated assault, even though his attorney says he never pulled out a gun and is being unfairly charged with a crime. The prosecutor says that these photos influenced his decision. They show Rolf kicking the man while he's dying and show the other officer standing on Brooks' shoulder. The city of Atlanta says you cannot even fire a taser at someone who's running away, so you certainly can't fire a gun, a handgun. The prosecutor also says that Rolf said, I got him after he shot the man and that the officers waited more than two minutes before trying to save the man's life. Rolf's lawyer tells ABC News his client acted out of fear for his own safety and the civilians around him, saying that Rolf heard a sound like a gunshot and saw a flash in front of him and fired his service weapon at the only portion of Mr. Brooks that presented to him. Mr. Brooks is back. Also this morning, we're hearing from the victim himself. Rayshard Brooks appears in this interview from earlier this year with a tech startup called Reconnect, and the interview is on point. The people talking with him are focusing on criminal justice reform, and he speaks about being trapped in the probation system. I just feel like some of the system could, you know, look at us as individuals. We do have lives, you know, we're, it's just a mistake we made, you know, and, you know, not, not just do us as if we are animals. On the issue of bond, the DA is asking for a $50,000 signature bond for the officer charged with aggravated assault and no bond for the officer charged with felony murder. Despite multiple calls to APD today, asking them questions about where they stand as far as personnel, they still haven't clarified exactly what's going on within the department. We're asking, what's the public safety plan going forward? Do they have enough officers for tonight? Again, they're not answering those questions as of this afternoon, but while we wait for those answers tonight, our reporting is showing some serious issues that happened last night. Dead silence for long periods of time Wednesday night on Atlanta Police Radio. Any image that is clear and copy of 69 at 135 University Avenue Southwest. Code 69. That's a call about a person with a gun on University Avenue. And still no response on the police radio. But then this, around 12.57 a.m. Just advising us pending. We have an honorable alarm at 1101 Cross Leon Avenue and the uh, intoxicated person at 880 Drury Street. It was the second time the operator had asked for an officer to respond. And finally, this. We are not answering 911 calls right now to the personnel issues. If you can reach out to other zones, I will to have them assist with our pending. Receive you there. Strap for units also. The county supports everything. And the mayor was on CNN saying it was all under control. Our, our streets won't be any less safe because of the number of officers who called out. The police foundation said on Monday morale in the Atlanta Police Department is low and officers feel they're being scapegoated. Public safety is so important and when people call 911, particularly in a dire situation, they certainly want somebody to respond and so it does worry us. And we sent that audio call from the radio traffic to APD to respond to that, uh, specifically the fact that they said that we're not responding to calls right now due to personnel issues. They still haven't responded to our request for a comment. Meanwhile, you heard the mayor and APD have said that other police departments are standing by across the metro to help them should they need help. We reached out to a lot of Metro Atlanta Police Departments, and this afternoon they're telling us that that request has not come in just yet.